Hi everybody. Oh, it's cold out today. Almost zero degrees. Eh, the sun is setting. I wanted to make an outdoor video for a change. Uh, a friend asked me about I'm gonna need a microdosing. She had some questions for protocol, so I will answer her questions in this video. <sighs> Should I microdose Amanita in the morning or the evening or both? When I take Amanita in the morning, I take it um, in a capsule. So the dried Amanita cap has more ibotenic acid um, compared to something like a tincture or honey that has been further decarboxylated. At night when I take Amanita, I take it in, uh, in a honey blend, um, in hot tea, or I take a tincture. So those are two ways to take Amanita muscaria that um, further decarboxylate the mushroom and give you more muscimol, which is a more sleepy indole. The ibotenic acid is more of an activating indole. That said, however you choose to take Amanita, um, it is extremely what people would call adaptogenic. It's more than adaptogenic, it's magic. It knows so much the fungal spirit of amanita is so savvy and so human that you can take the mushroom in the morning or the evening and it will benefit you for alertness and focus um clear clarity of mind and it will also help you sleep if you take it at night um so so yeah let's see here how much can you take of amanita muscaria and is it psychedelic um, it is, I wouldn't say that it's a psychedelic more as much of, as much as like a dissociative. Um, if you take a lot of Amandina muscaria, it will put you into a dreamlike state. And if you take a lot, a lot of it, it can make you sick. It can make you throw up or even have a seizure. Um, if you're just starting out with this mushroom, I definitely don't recommend taking more than half a gram to a gram at a time. Um, and when you're really first starting out, probably keep it down to half a gram or less to see how you respond to that much of it. Um, and then if you want to go up from there, uh, at least you'll know what that much does to, does to you. You don't want to have any crazy surprises. I've noticed that the, the effect of Amanita is quite long term, like I'll kind of feel the effect for days when I take it. And so, um, when I take it, uh, for helping me sleep. If I take it one night, um, even if I don't take it another night, I still might reap the benefits of having taken it earlier in the week, um, for better sleep, more restful sleep. I have never had such good sleep as I have since I started microdosing Amanita. <laughs> My little dog. <sighs> She's a little explorer. Okay, uh, the person who asked me these questions also uh, wanted to mention that she is feeling happier, she's smiling more, she's more clear-headed and more focused um, since beginning to microdose with Amanita. Um, she also said she's having uh, big dreams, vivid dreams, very interesting dreams. So I'm really glad to hear all that um, and I'm glad that the Amanita is helping. So she was also interested in taking, uh, Amanita for a longer period of time. She had been, she's feeling called to do that. And yeah, if you want to microdose Amanita every day, that's fine. Um, my personal experience with it is that the mushroom tells me when to microdose and when to stop. Like, I don't set very rigid protocols with microdosing Amanita or psilocybin because, um, I listen to my personal needs and if I feel like I'm getting too far out there with the blue mushroom, I'll stop. Or if I feel like I um, don't need to take the red mushroom, then I won't. I'm also busy and so sometimes I just don't, just don't take it. I have other stuff going on um, that doesn't really like jive with it. So my, I guess I'm not the most regimented uh, microdoser, but I would say always like check in with yourself, listen to yourself. And if you have any questions, just you can reach out, reach out to your community. All right. Have a great day.